Welcome back, everybody. Now, even though there's a way to go to the right, praise the treasure, we have run into a triple way of fucking places to go. Oh, now we haven't. Wait. Now. Okay, I'm still, I'm curious where this little area will lead us, so I'm gonna keep following it. This weapon is gorgeous. Yes! Yes! The Grand Stairway. Oh my god. We have died in this little thing so many times there's going to be spiders aplenty in ahead of us. Oh, come on. Look at this beautiful weapon. Now you probably remember this elevator a bunch because we've fallen off of it a bunch. It leads even higher. Dude. Oh, this is the place from earlier. Oh, this is this place. Okay. I'm gonna rest here, actually. That's why I'm actually going through here. And I do want to see, do I have any more things you need? Feral Beast Tooths. I've gotten a lot of those, actually, with my other characters. Uh, Split Swordsman's Ear. Those are actually rare as fuck. Court Sorcerer's Ear. I could go farm those. I might actually farm stuff off-screen, but I don't know. It would lead to a lot of level-ups. I don't want to be grinding. You. Upgrade my shit. What's that? Drowned Sensor? Okay, then. <sighs> you know, my character Blind Nigga Samurai has gone through quite a journey. I pretty much keep him in almost every game I play and kind of have like a... Like a, yeah, this is his descendant, this is him in this realm, and this parallel dimension and whatnot. And Blind Nigga Samurai has gone through quite a journey. This isn't even his strangest alternate dimension either. A dimension in which he's not a fucking samurai. Because I made him in Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. I'm actually trying to remember where he originated from. I'm pretty damn sure it was Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1. I want to fall off on one of these. It's the next one. Yeah, no, I actually didn't want to fall off here now that I think about it. But this is way earlier in the game. If you remember it, this is practically the beginning of the game. Which means this game has beautiful level design. Being able to seamlessly tie in an area from this early in the game, or that early in the game, to now, that's practically dope. That back there was practically the beginning of the game. Now... A merchant and a bag of salt. Checked around here, no, nowhere to go.
how do I get up there? I'll worry about that later. <laughs> I don't like you. You need to die. Fast. Yeah, not jumping down there. Learn my lesson. Ooh, three directions. Now, if you remember, there's still... Oh, yes, yeah, swordsman. You give me your ear now. There's still one area way far back that we still need to go to. Shit. This... That's a fire. Oh, they're all fires. Right, we didn't actually rest in the other place. Mayhaps this is blessing in disguise. Because we never checked out this area because I thought it was a boss fight. Oh my god! This sword upgrade makes those guys a two shot. I don't like the lack of major ambiance and the cobwebs. Oh, hey, it's my friend. I needed to find this place. My blade's been thirsting for blood, and my satchel's been hungry for gold. Funny, though. Gold's the reason I'm stuck here. I had a job. Escort the nobleman across the sea. Nobleman. Me? Working? Go on, laugh. You know, I'm a thief. I dwell in somewhat more unsavory channels. But I'm the best. My services were requested for this top secret mission for the crown, because I'm the best. But we've wrecked on or we've wrecked on this island. To know what happened, and that highborn prick. Don't care. Most likely he's dead. And not only is my pay forfeit, so is my neck, if I ever set foot back home. So what's a thief do? Or what's a thief to do? Gather up whatever spoils I can find. Scrap together a skiff out of sca scaf savage. And sail to Coast Rock. I think that's what that said. Yep, Coast Rock's the perfect place for someone like me to shed her notoriety. Alright. Glad, glad to have this talk. Fuck that. We're coming back here. There's no way that's not a fucking boss fight. And if it's not a boss fight, then it's something absolutely terrifying that I want no part of until I have to. I got utterly wrecked. Warden's gloves. Oh, you can get his outfit. That's actually cool. I think he looks really awesome. No, 
nom 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 nom. Missed that up there last time. So, left here is the boss. So what's right? Flames Orbiter? Orbiter. Great. Could have had a bonfire. Now there seems to be one of these mini bonfires near bosses, which I'm alright with. I like that. Not every boss has one of those, and that makes them not too bad. This is the way to boss, actually. Up there. What was up there? And I could grind on that swordsman, too. Mmm, grind on him so hard. Oh, right, there was an item up here. We're gonna rest again for the sole fact that, uh, I can grind on that swordsman. I think off screen I'm going to grind actually, like legitimately. Because, yeah, it'll be cool to have that uh, third, or that ear. Oh, the third ear, yeah, I actually have the word third ear. I don't know why the word third seemed bad to me. Alright, halfway done. Like, if you fall near the edge, it automatically picks up that you're near the edge and brings you back on the ledge. Like, without giving you the chance to just press circle or something to drop. Poor swordsman. Damn, I was hoping that bridge wouldn't actually collapse. It's a broken down bridge. Luckily, at least with my armor, he doesn't do that much damage. Punches. But the frequency, frequency that's actually the right word, of that it happens is a lot. And I have to lose. Alright, that's gonna end that. I'm just gonna go get my souls back and grind on that samurai a little bit, and I will meet you in the next one. Love you. Bye!